everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm so famous and I'd like to thank first of all all my subscribers and my new subscribers um, welcome to you all um, today's video um, I'm doing lots of healing grids, I've done the Mother Mary grid um, and I've also got the grid of my schools in the background <coughs> Um, and the light language today, there's the heart chakra, the sacral, um, throat chakra, I think that's it today. Um, so it's quite, quite a bit of light language that's come through. Um, I am absolutely exhausted. I've been going through a lot of purging still, um, with this mercury retrograde and I'm sure like everyone else is going through the same sort of thing. Um, and Mercury is actually my ruling planet because I'm a Virgo um, so I am revisiting the past past lives uh, inner child so I've been doing a lot of um, spiritual work in my work um, but like I said before it's all worth it because we can't take all this baggage with us um, as we are ascending so I've also got um, a bit of my artwork as well in this video because I have started, for those of you that are new, I have started combining my light language with my artwork as well because <clears throat> I really enjoyed doing the artwork and um, on the 1st of November for the 11, 11 Gateway I um, had a big download of light language writing. Um, so I do need to get this light language out because it's a trigger for um, lots of people. And there are ancient languages um, and different star systems. So you will be seeing a lot more of my light language writing. That's what I've been guided to do. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was talking about my... Um, today's... Uh, uh, what I did the colouring was a, it's a dragon and the dragon's called Athena which is like a Greek goddess and the Greek goddess is of wisdom and warfare so I have done a bit of light language um, to go with the dragon really pretty dragon she is but I hope you all enjoy um, the rest of the video and I'll do a close up of the Mother Mary grid and this grid so that you can um, to see what I've used, what crystals I've used on there. There is actually a bit of a glare um, because of the. I've got a mood changing lamp behind my school. That's my school laughing centre. His mouth opens up. That's why he's called laugh. Oops. So. I've got mainly white crystals on this grid. This is actually a protective grid. Um, I've got the pophilite because I think a lot of us light workers have been under attack lately, myself included. Um, this is celestite, so we've got protection from the angelic realm. Um, I've got lots of clear quartz, schools, and um, clear quartz stones on here. Um, and also I've got some crystal glass as well. Got two beautiful pieces of angel aura there. Angel aura is um, mixed with precious metals at high temperatures. So really it's quite a simple grid really. Um, and I've also got like a cinnamon stick that's protective as well. And there's even a piece of garlic on there. So yeah, it's quite a um, simple grid, but very effective. So I'll just show you the Mother Mary grid. And that's my beautiful Mother Mary grid. Um, I always like to bring Mother Mary out when I need healing. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to have a healing grid for everyone. I've got an absolutely stunning rose. Um, roses do give activations if you look at the sacred ge geometry pattern of them 
and uh, she's got a sun catcher there to catch the rays but um, unfortunately the sun's not so low as it was in the summer because it's going to winter and um, it's not so easy to catch the rays um, I've got lots of rose quartz on this grid that's a lovely flame carved rose quartz um, some shells as well and I think actually rose quartz is water element as well so we've got um, protection from the water element that's another beautiful shell it's absolutely stunning it looks like um, angel wings I don't know what type of shell is I don't know if anyone knows I've got a couple of rose quartz hearts and we've got the um, rose quartz angel and it's an angel child, angelic child, which I think is quite fitting because I have done some inner child work as well. And I'm sure a lot of you have as well. And we've got a nice um, organ pyramid and that's got rose quartz in as well. Um, that's good for um, clearing away negative energy in the area. And some more shelves here. I've got a white angel here, that one I've called Gabriel. And that's a lead crystal glass <coughs> crystal sort of thing. And I've also got some raw pieces of rose quartz. Some selenite two selenite rods that's actually as is two lights it's quite a powerful crystal it's a super activated crystal and if you care to check out the story um, it's a very interesting story um, if you look at white as is two light and um, the, the angelic realm that's um, associated with this crystal is called the Azaz and it's also linked to Gnosticism as well so it's quite an interesting story if you've got time to check. So that's my healing grid for today.
Thank you.